Doyle, you listening to me, Doyle? So, as I was saying, only two things the Frenchies are any good at. Surrendering and kissing. A born new sergeant. How are you, BT? Skyling as usual. Get stoked, you fat Scottish twig. <laughs> I'm fair popular around here. You can probably tell. Keith, give Wilkins a hand, would you? Boy can't tell his ass from his elbow. Damn good to see you again. Wilkins, you blasted idiot. What are you doing, my friend? Little present for the Bosch. We call her Vera. Her twin over there is Lynn. It's the usual deal. Freed on insertion. Our man on the ground is a Marquis named La Roche. Decent fellow for a Frenchman. He'll take us to meet up with the French resistance. An oxymoron if ever there was one. But they're all we have. We're wheels up in an hour, so grab your kit and load in. Strap yourselves in, boys! We're almost at the jump point! Je m'appelle Pierre Laroche. Welcome to France, mon ami. A oui, wee member of the welcoming committee. <laughs> it's good to see you in one piece, Doyle. We lost Vera in the drop. Vera? Her jeep. Think you can find her, Doyle? I'll accompany the sergeant. I'll go with the sergeant, too. Let's go! Stay, Stay quiet. Let's do this quiet. We need to wake the bush now. Will you look at that? A piss, a piss. We'll leave him, Doyle. Quietly. Quiet as mice. Well done, laddie. Keep moving forward! Watch out! 42! 
Vira, you made it, lassie. All right, then. 
So now Vera here and Frenchy can take us to the Maquis base. Don't call me Frenchy. Whatever you say, Frenchy. There's a skinny pedal on the right coil. You are late! Nice to see you too, lady. Dufontaine. Isabelle Dufontaine. I don't care if you're the friggin' Queen of France. Where's the Major? Mais qui est cet imbécile? Your Major hasn't arrived yet. And we've lost contact with one of our men as well, Marcel Amand. Que lui est-il arrivé? What happened to him? He went missing while doing reconnaissance near the German air defense. You mean those Bosch bastards who shot us out of the sky? Sounds like payback time, eh, Doyle? We'll help you get your man back. Someone should stay at the rendezvous point in case Major Ingram arrives. Thanks for volunteering, Frenchy. Here is the situation. The German gunners are using a manor house as their barracks straight up that way. The flag gun is to the right. Allons-y. Doyle, lead on. Come on, lad, I'll give you a hand.
Marcel, ça va Ça va bien. Et j'ai les plans du de l'hydrocarburant. Le gauche will be out in force by now. Best to split up. What the bloody hell is going on here Later. We must go. Los yes Take on it, take on
Buggers are right behind me. Doyle, you go with Keith and Monsieur LaRoche. You and your friend can ride with me. We'll rendezvous back at the Mackie base. Doyle, you're driving again. Don't monkey about, Doyle. The boss are right behind us. Tank coming up on us. The boss! The base has been compromised! Get out of here, Doyle! We need to help them! Nothing we can do but fuck out the you with the Major! Across the river. Say it, Zapri! Go to a bridge! Put your foot down, Doyle! Please hold on, last. Fuck me that bridge, Hill! Stop! What's Bogger down? If it reloads... Jolly good time in Major. Thank the quiet one there. And not just for that save. He also got the plans for the Bosch's fuel depot. Or he's baiting the trap. The uh, Roche trusts him. That makes one of us. Marcel is one of our most trusted men. That's not saying much. You seem to like us well enough when we save your lives. Perhaps next time we won't be as charitable. I don't need some suicide detail to get me a medal. No one's offering you a medal to do your job, Hux. Now, can you read up on those aircraft bombs? Yeah, those things are my dangerous. Your Sarge is riding up front. All right, listen up. Our job's to take the bridge as the convoy acts as our decoy from the opposite side. So we get no armor support. Jerry will blow the bridge at the first sight of armor. 
That's why Huxley here is gonna disarm the bombs before the crowds can detonate. Whose brilliant plan was this? General George S. Patton. You got some kind of problem with him too? Nope. So long as the orders aren't coming from McCollin. Ain't no orders coming from him. Hell, he said so much the word for two days straight. How about you worry less about the Sarge and more about those bombs, Hayseed? Yeah, I got it, I got it.